It's been said that God is never late and rarely early. He is always exactly right on time, His time. And such is the case as we witness the end of the great flood in Genesis chapter 8. God in His perfect time stopped the flow and the waters began to recede. And only after the ground was completely dry did God call Noah to come out of the ark. If you do the math, Noah was in the ark for about a year. And when he comes out after being cooped up with his family and all those animals for a whole year, there's no big party, no great feast. Listen to what Noah does. I'll start with verse 18. So Noah, his wife, and his sons and their wives left the boat. And all the large and small animals and birds came out of the boat pair by pair. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord. And there he sacrificed as burnt offerings the animals and birds that had been approved for that purpose. So after a year on the ark, waiting and watching, not knowing when the rain would stop or the ground would dry, the first thing Noah does when he steps foot on dry land is offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the Lord. And we're told the Lord was pleased with the aroma of the sacrifice. And he said to himself, I will never again curse the ground because of the human race. I will never again destroy all living things. As long as the earth remains, there will be planting and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. So here's the question for you and I. What have we got to be thankful for today? Let me encourage you as I challenge myself. Stop what you're doing. Stop right now and offer God a sacrifice of praise for all he's done for you.